so recently saw Doom Part 2 in theaters and it is hella overhyped. It's hella overhyped. It, it, Doom 1 was good, you know what I'm saying? Doom 2 is not good in the sense that it, it's it's racist. It's not even like racist. It's like you see the tropes of Hollywood in this thing so much. It is a dog whistle white propaganda piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know who doesn't see it. I looked at other views of people talk about Doom Part 2 and like, it's all white people hyping this shit up, bro. And it's not that serious. Like, I haven't heard no real niggas talk about this movie yet. I, I find it strange. Like, it's basically some white savior shit. Black concubine. He ain't gonna hold it. He ain't gonna wipe her up. He, gonna kick, he can kick Zendaya to the side. Spoilers, guys. Spoilers, guys. Um, it's, it's some white supremacy stuff. It's like, you got, you got a black chick taught you about the clan. You just like, nah, I'm gonna make this military alliance with some other chick. You know what I'm saying? It's just layers. Like the the lay the woman that serves the 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 the, the water of life stuff. She like a hobbit, bald headed. You know what I mean? With, with, with bow leg knees and shit. You know what I mean? Like what kind of shit is that? Why well, you gotta have her looking all weird? The the the, the, the niggas, the dark skin folks, and it's like cooning in the eyes. Like you see the cooning like like buck in the eyes for like the white folk. You know what I'm saying? Like what kind of shit is this? I don't understand. No one called this out. Like. It's, just, it's unique. It's unique. So, the, the, the Dune movie is, is a white propaganda piece. You start seeing it more and more, the more you wake up and you become conscious. And I'm like, all right, you know, there's entertainment. It's visually stunning. I'm not going to deny that. Um, it's not like no Avatar, but it's stunning. The sound pop. I saw it in a Screen X. Never seen Screen X before. So, Screen X has, like, the projectors on the side with, like, a, with this, like still, like, a bezel between the, the frames of the, the, the three-part screen. But still, it comes and goes, and it was a neat, it's a neat novelty. Um, it's different versus IMAX, so I give him props on that. Um, so it was a neat experience. But overall, uh, nah, it's just some white propaganda piece. Timothy Chalamet barking into some dark voice at, at bitches. You know what I'm saying? Like, as if he compl- commands them. And man, it, 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 it's, it's, technically it's pre-Star Wars, but they're all the same story overlapping from somewhat. Um... And it's just weak, bro. I, I was, I, it's too long. I'm low key, high key falling asleep in the movie, and it's just long. Like if it wasn't for the lights flashing or some shit, I'd have been out. I'd have been out, and I really fall asleep in theaters almost never in life. This is a long movie. This is a long movie. Uh, you want to like medicate before you go in there because it's a lot. This is a lot, and um, it, I want to know who else sees these dog whistles of racism. I mean, it's, it's the, I know the white savior thing is serious. I know like the nigga in the dress thing is kind of thing, but like. In the future, ain't no strong male figures, not black male figures. Like, they just don't do it. It's just a thing. And you see the cooning and bucking. And that's what I call it. Like, it's just a dog whistle. I wish I could go play by play, so I called him out. Just saw it in theater, you know? And it was terribly not compared to the first one. Like, it's just weak. It's weak, and the plot lines are confusing and stuff. Uh, a lot of glaring. Like, there's a lot of fucking glaring. Like, the Zendaya had like 10 scenes in a row where all she did was fucking glare. Didn't say shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, I guess, show me, don't tell me. Eh, I don't know. Overhyped film. Overhyped film. It's overhyped. It's overhyped. I don't know if I could ever watch it again. I gotta watch it like double speed. <laughs> There's a lot. They have to have like a, a another theatrical cut. I don't get why this movie's hyped up so much. It's, it's really overhyped. This white savior thing is... Really like they, they, they're Jesus Christ in it. They're Jesus Christ in it pretty hard. You know, there's some whitewash and there's some niggas praising them. I don't know. That's all. First impressions.